afternoon, a shakeup at CYFD. Today, the governor announced the current secretary is stepping down and will be replaced by a retired state Supreme Court justice. It comes after what the governor calls a number of administrative missteps. News 13's Annalisa Pardo is here, is live at CYFD with the story. Current CYFD Secretary Brian Blaylock's final day will be on August 20th. The governor is appointing for retired lawyer and judge Barbara V. Hill to take over the department. This is my passion, my love for service, for public service, and for children and families. I can't tell you how honored I am to be here with you and to serve you and New Mexico going forward. Governor Lujan Grisham says that Secretary Blaylock is stepping down to follow his wife's new job opportunity in California. But it also comes at a time when the department is facing some controversy. The governor called Blaylock's resignation a, quote, mutually agreed upon decision. The department is currently facing a whistleblower lawsuit filed by two former employees who describe a toxic environment at the agency, saying they were forced down after raising ethical concerns like the department's use of an encrypted messaging app called Signal, which deletes conversations. I was concerned about a number of administrative missteps, uh, including uh, the department using Signal, which I don't believe at all was intended to be non-transparent. While a new report details that the department has made some great strides in recent years, there is still work to be done. V Hill says her first order of business will be investigating the challenges the department faces, and then she'll present a plan to the governor on how to move forward. V Hill, an Albuquerque native, served on the district court bench for more than 12 years and presided over children's court for more than 10 years. She also served on the New Mexico Supreme Court for nearly nine years and was the chief justice before retiring in June. If confirmed by the state legislature, V Hill's first day to take on the new role will be October 1st. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Annalisa. Now, this is the governor's third new cabinet secretary in recent weeks. She recently appointed new secretaries for the Education Department and Department of Public Safety. She still has to appoint two more secretaries for Workforce Solutions and the Department of Health. Well, the storms we